chili sauce. And all we're doing is taking little mixed berries. I'm just doing like a good two portions or portion and a half. Mm -hmm. And I'm just adding a teeny bit of water. Not much, that was probably like less than a quarter cup, see? Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm just using mixed berries. It's actually really beautiful if you use just one berry, like all blueberries or all blackberries. I'm just using a combination because we don't have enough of any one <laughs> thing. And Krishna didn't get to eat dessert yesterday, boohoo. So um, <laughs> because she's been really good and she's been reading an hour a day and doing her homework on set, including addition, subtraction, writing in her journal two pages, doing word problems, all that stuff. I wanted to give her a treat and I'm going to work. She's gonna join me on set later, but um, I thought I would give her a special like dessert for breakfast. Mm. So I'm just making this hot berry sauce. All it is is these little berries. I'm gonna let them cook. I'm just letting them simmer. This is like the most simple dessert that anyone can make like a real chef's dessert for when you don't want to bake. Mm. It's also a quick treat. So I am just putting in not too many. I'm literally putting in two cloves just to give the berry sauce a little depth. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make it too spicy. And you can see, come over here. And you want to just stir it. The berries will fall apart. That's why I kind of like the blackberries and blueberries better because raspberries are so delicate. Um, so we're gonna let this cook. And then I'm just adding a little brown sugar. Just like not even a teaspoon. Okay, maybe a teaspoon. <laughs> if you think there's too much water releasing from the berries, you can just leave it to simmer open rather than shutting it. And I usually add water a tablespoon at a time. I just did it fast because I got to get to set. <laughs> Hence the clips in my head. <laughs> smells good. I can smell the clothes. If you wanted to be fancy about this, you could also add a little Chambord liqueur to it. That would give it a depth, but obviously I'm not going to add it because I'm serving it to Krish. <laughs> I'm not add it. Too much water. We have four minutes left. Four minutes till I go to set. Okay, a little more sugar because <laughs> the berries are pretty tart. So all in all, I would say it's about a teaspoon and a half mm -hmm. of light brown sugar. I've been saving this little piece of dark chocolate with mint in it. And she doesn't really like dark chocolate, but I think it's better in this sauce. Um, and, and the ice cream, I'm just doing vanilla ice cream. Here in the background, she's having a, a music lesson with this wonderful um, voice and piano teacher we found here. I met her at Billy Porter's birthday party, and she's awesome. And so she's been giving Krishna two hours of music every other day. Nice. That whoa is Krishna. <laughs> Okay. Oh, is she singing radioactive? Mm -hmm. Is she singing? <laughs> Actually, this is the worst thing you should have before a music lesson because it's dairy. <laughs> so do not try this at home. There we go. Actually, I should do this first so she can see. Okay, this is admittedly a mess, <laughs> but... Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. I 
know someone's gonna be like, hallelujah for reals when they see this. <laughs> Mm. You guys are surprised. Oh, thank it's you. Ice cream. Did you hear her rocking? I that did. Harmony? I did. It's ice cream with berry sauce. It's hot mm. berry sauce. Mm. I know you're not supposed to have dairy when you sing, but it's a special treat. Say hi, Laura. Hi. hi. This is Laura, Krishna's new music teacher. Cool. Hi. Bye. Bye.